So one advice to getting started with UDL is to take it in small steps and then pick an actual scenario. Don't be hypothetical. Pick a situation in your class today that you want to address or you want to change and start with that. I really focus on creating very tight goals that are very clear and then building multiple means by which students can operate on those goals across the course and within each session. The key thing is really making sure that your students are helping you drive the changes that you're going to make. They're going to be a great guide about what aspect of UDL you need to focus on. What's your biggest need? Do they need you to give them more flexibility around assignments? Do they need you just to focus on making some richer materials and not presenting everything one way? It's a dynamic process. There's nothing formulaic about this. Students are very open in telling you uh, what works, what doesn't work, and what faculty learn is how to bring students who've been on the margins to center stage. It's not necessary for me to make sweeping changes all at once. Um, if I just um, uh, think about each assignment and think about ways that it could be informed or changed by the UDL framework, then over time I will have um, created a more universally designed course.